In this video, we're going to be talking about installing the EasyStone version 4, which is the current version of our Rhinestone macro for CorelDRAW, into CorelDRAW uh, X5. Now, um, EasyStone version 4 was really created back for EasyStone or CorelDRAW X6. And so the installers that we have available right now is for X6 and X7. But EasyStone can be used in any version of CorelDRAW. The only drawback is, if there is one, is that EasyStone version 4 was created only for 32-bit CorelDRAW. Okay? Uh, and X6 was the first version of CorelDRAW that came in a 64-bit version. But there was a lot of problems uh, with the very first version of 64-bit CorelDRAW. So most of us stayed with the 32-bit version of CorelDRAW. The drawback is most of us had 64-bit computers. And when you go to install CorelDRAW today, um, most computers today are all 64-bit computers. So when you go to install CorelDRAW today, uh, what happens is it's going to automatically install the 64-bit version of the software. And But EasyStone will only work with the 32-bit version of the software. Now, we are going to be releasing EasyStone version 6 very, very soon. And that will only work with the 64-bit version. So current version, version 4, only works in 32-bit, okay? So if if you want to install EasyStone with CorelDRAW 8 or, or the 2019 version, whatever, uh, just know that when you buy the software, it comes with both versions, 32-bit and 64-bit. But we have to tell it to install 32-bit if we're working on a 64-bit computer. It's so confusing, I know. So anyhow, if you go to your if you if you downloaded a physical CD, on that CD will be a folder called x86, and in the x86 folder will be a setup file for the 32-bit versions of CorelDRAW. Okay, so if you're using x6, x7. Uh, CorelDRAW, which a lot of you are, uh, even CorelDRAW X8, uh, all those versions will have a x86 folder where you have to go into that folder, choose that setup file to install the 32-bit version of CorelDRAW. Now, you can have both the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of CorelDRAW installed. And if you do, the, the little icon that you use to start the software, it'll actually say right on the icon, It'll say CorelDRAW X7, for example, and then it'll have CorelDRAW X7 64-bit. It'll actually say 64-bit. So when you go to use EasyStone, you have to be in the 32-bit version. So when you buy EasyStone today, it comes with an installer for X6 and X7 ready to go. You just install it and go. The only catch is you've got to make sure that you have, you're, you're using the 32-bit version of X6 or X7. Okay? So, for X5, it's a little bit different. Okay, so here I have CorelDRAW X5 installed on my machine. And this is where you need to go into your hard drive and look at this folder right here. So, if you look at, if you look at my tree here, it says it's on my C drive, Program Files x86, Corel, Corel Graphics Suite X5, and Draw. Okay, so you go into your GMS folder, and, and, and so within the draw folder is a GMS folder, and you can see the GMS files that are currently in here. These are installed by default for Corel. Okay, what we want to go in, so we've, we've downloaded EasyStone version 4. We've installed it either using the, X80, or the X7 or X6 installer, but we want to use it with X5. Okay, so we got to go back to C drive. Program Files, Corel, and now you see I have X6 and X8 installed. Okay, so I so in, in my case, I'm going to go into my X6 folder, and you see Draw, and you see GMS. Okay, and in here is a whole uh, bunch of EST uh, files. Now, you won't necessarily have all the ones I have. But anything that begins with EST, that's the Easy Stone Template. So we have our Eyeline CP, Machine Cut, Spangled Standard. You should have all of those. And then we will skip down here. You should have these text files that, that correspond to those. And then 
you will have easy guides. You will probably have easy prep. Uh, you will have easy stone version four. You won't have Spangle Master. You will have the uh, Hotfix uh, WF export. You will have that, and uh, you will. You, this is a Corel draw file. So, uh, so at any rate, just copy all of our EST information back to your X5 version of the software. Draw, GMS, paste, and you're golden. When you open up your uh, CorelDRAW X5, you go into your macro manager, and their Easy Stone version 4 will be. All right, so if you have any questions beyond that, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email. Uh, it's actually better if you go to our Facebook page, which is, uh, you know, Easy Stone Templates. Just look up on Facebook and uh, DM us right there. Send us a direct message on Facebook. And uh, typically, that will come across our computer screens a little bit quicker than sending us an email. Email is old school. So anyhow, uh, that should get you fixed. And like I said, if you have problems, just call me or drop me a message.